Our journey continues as we make another pit stop to check for temperatures as per the travel regulations. We briefly take in the scenery and as the sun begins to bid us good night, we open up our minibar for responsible indulgence. Parental guidance is advised. From Archer's Post, we continue past Kalama Wildlife Conservancy. In about 4 kilometers is the Marsabit Wamba Junction and alas, we arrive at our destination. Yes, sabari zenu nyenye. Sabari yako wewe. Salama kabisa. Hapa ndio sabati. Mimi naitwa Tipa. Tipa. Tipa da nanengera. Ole naitwa Alex Anthony. Alex Anthony. Yeah. Anthony Nani? Baraka. Baraka. Kutoka? Kwa yeah. kweli? The Sabashe Eco Camp is nestled along a seasonal riverbed at the base of the mountain at an elevation of about 1000 meters above sea level. It is entirely community owned and run and directly benefits the immediate Samburu community. My name is Lankas and I'm a surveyor and I expect more from this company. This is my first time. Oh, I'm going to work Kenan Moses. I'm going to work with you. 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 We gather around the bonfire over music and storytelling. while others play games such as Monopoly and Jenga. It's getting hot in here. as we wait for tenderly cooked nyama choma made by local Samburu. This dish is best served with ugali or sima, greens and some kachumbari. A chilled beverage goes perfectly with this. While some decide to retire in preparation for the 2 a.m. hike, the rest of us gurus, <laughs> in quotes, listen to the silence, crickets, and incessant night creatures as we keep warm around the blazing bonfire. Well, for the most part, it's included after hours dancing and loud singing. <laughs> I'm sure the elephants wondered what ceremony was happening this night. It's the wee hours of the morning, 2 o'clock a.m. Bags packed with water and light snacks, gun blazing energy to conquer the mountain. It's pitch black, cool temperature and very rocky. The difficulty level for this mountain is easy if you're an experienced hiker or rock climber. Otherwise, please come prepared with your hiking boots, stick and especially a torch. My baby. The total hiking duration to the top can take anywhere from two to three hours depending on your pace and whether you are interested in observing the flora and fauna. We are keen to do much of the hike as we can before the sultry Samburu sun rears its ugly head.
the top of the mountain lends its views to winding roads far below as well as a terrain packed with hills. If you walk to the southwestern edge of the mountain top, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape and the tarmac road as it disappears into the horizon towards Isiolo. Awesome, we are finally here. Finally. Yeah, Seen the sunset, the you views on top are very awesome. Perfect Zana. If Absolutely you're not here, you are there and you're missing out. Kaboom. Boom, starboard safari. See you next time. Mount Ololo. I can't miss. Boom. Mount Ololo. <laughs> awesome, awesome, yes. awesome, awesome, Mount awesome. Mount awesome. Up next. Yes. It's been awesome. <laughs> The southern end of Matthews Range is also visible from this location. Most of the trails on Ololokwe are created by elephant herds as they periodically migrate up the mountain in search of water during the dry season. The Samburu herdsmen also use them when taking their livestock to the permanent water springs at the top. <laughs> The vegetation along the trail is primarily dry land bushes, scrubland, grassy plains, and forested areas. We notice the incredible cycads and cedar trees scattered across the rocky outcrops, which are different species of acacia and euphorbia plants. Another captivating attraction on your descent is the Moran Caves. The caves are often used by the Samburu for rituals such as the coming of age ceremony. Countless cows have been slaughtered there to celebrate, honor, and mark special dates in the Samburu calendar. I asked the guide whether we would view it, but it was not possible. Along the trail, we would also find large rock clearings that provide excellent views of the small rocky outcrops in the near distance called Mkadoru Murto, nicknamed Cat and Mouse, and Matthews Range. Activities one can do here are visit the national reserves and conservancies around Sabashe. Camel safaris can also be arranged. Go for a cultural visit to the local villages to learn more about the Samburu. Hike Mount Ololokwe, which is what we have been doing. Absolutely amazing. As you can see right behind me, that is Mount Ololokwe, where we actually summited and I'm absolutely tired. Everybody's tired, beat, and just can't wait to get home and just relax our feet. It was such an adventurous weekend, and I'm sure you had a ton of fun, of course, with myself, Riley, out and about, as well as Starboard Safaris. If you haven't already booked a holiday with them, you should definitely do so because it is obviously a ton, a ton of fun as we've had so much fun on this particular episode. So until next time, let me catch you on the next trip. This is one of my best memories as well, okay? Because um, camping, the last time we had camping was almost like early last year in Tanzania. So here in Kenya, Samboro, a destination, a good experience. I loved it myself. And uh, the team here, it's, it's very teamwork. I can see teamwork and uh, I love that about the group here. Anthony Baraka is my name, the director at Stubborn Safaris. What we basically do is uh, customize group trips and we also focus on private trips. So today we are from Mount Ololokwe, hiking, which, which has been an awesome experience. So the trip started with a few hitches. From basically on the uh, transport aspect, transport is always an issue, once in a while it happens. So it started off on a bad foot, but all in all, the trip has been awesome. We are back on time. 6 p.m. we are in Sagana, which means we are like one hour away from the city. So everything is okay. Perfect.